level of social engineers are not just targeting us with propaganda. They are manipulating our genetics. We are being targeted at every level by estrogen mimickers that lower our testosterone and other hormones and natural compounds that the body needs. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula sourced from powerful organic herbs and then concentrated for maximum potency. Super male vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals. Super Male Vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. For a limited time, we are offering 15% off Super Male Vitality at InfoWarsLife.com to introduce you to this powerful supplement. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your Super Male Vitality. InfoWarsLife.com. In the last 50 years, iodine has been phased out of our staple foods and replaced with the halogen bromine, a practice now banned in nations around the world. Guess what else is in the halogen family? Fluoride. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones here. In 1924, the federal government did the right thing and encouraged salt producers to add iodine. It's the good halogen on the periodic table. And the results are on record, reports documented, a 15-point IQ increase in areas that had previously been deficient in iodine. Bottom line, iodine is important. Unbound, clean, in a glycerin base, nascent iodine was the answer for myself and my family. You will find Survival Shield nascent iodine exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWars Life Survival Shield nascent iodine isn't just for emergencies. I take it every day. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. Introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals, all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gate, we have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. Get your Pro Pure with a new Pro One filter today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. Coast to coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. Crashing through the lies and disinformation, it's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight, filling in for Alex. I'm joined here in studio with Anthony Gucciardi. We're here on this Sunday, March 9th, 2014. And as Alex was just talking about it, they're losing the war on gun control. They're losing the war on trying to start foreign wars, a war of surveillance against U.S. citizens. We've got a lot of information coming up about South by Southwest. Julian Assange had some interesting quotes about the nature of privacy and power and how you transfer one, you transfer the other. But we want to go first to this clip from the Detroit police chief, James Craig. Listen to what he has to say about citizens who are armed. Now, Carmen, it's not often you hear the police chief of a major city encouraging residents to arm themselves. But in this case, that's what the police chief is doing. He is saying essentially that if thieves and robbers are going to come in and rape and pillage or worse, they need to be aware that the homeowners are going to be ready. A lot of good Detroiters are fed up. Chief James Craig among them. He says the bizarre cases of armed robbers even knowing the residents have guns and still breaking in shows a different brand of brazen criminal in Detroit, and he has a message for them. The message should be uh, that, you know, people are going to protect themselves. They're tired. Uh, they've been dealing with this epidemic of violence. They're afraid, and they have a right to protect themselves. A woman with a concealed carry permit shot and killed a carjacker in a driveway this week. The chief says, as it should be. You know, if you're confronted with an immediate threat to your safety, 
you never have time to dial 911. You, you know, I mean, so it becomes an issue of the threats here. I have to respond to the threat. He is careful to point out, unlike the Dearborn shooting of a few months ago, where an injured woman was merely yeah. knocking on a door when the homeowner fired through it, there needs to be a Let's true come back, threat John. Yeah, That's exactly you, right. That's, they're talking about two new events that just happened this week. Now, there was a third event that happened just a couple of weeks ago. If you remember, there was a mom who had been victimized with break-ins at her house. She got a surveillance camera. She got a gun. She protected her children from three thugs who were trying to do a home invasion. And the police caught the guy. She ran them off and the police caught them. What would happen in a place like New York or Chicago? Well, that mom would be a criminal in the first place for even getting a gun to defend herself. And they probably wouldn't have caught the criminal. They usually don't. And then they would have arrested and prosecuted her. But as I pointed out in that video, just this last week in Detroit, you had a woman who had a concealed carry permit shot and killed a man who was attempting to carjack her vehicle. In another case, you had a homeowner who shot to death a teenager who was trying to break into his home. And as the police chief pointed out, he says, you're, you're confronted with an immediate threat to your safety. You're not going to have time to deal 911. It becomes an issue of the threat is here. I have to respond to the threat. He gets it. We all need a police chief like that. Fortunately, we're starting to win this war. We're starting to see several law enforcement officers like police chiefs starting to say that. We've got a police chief here in California. We've got another article who is uh, this police chief is police chief Dan Bressler. Now, he's in the Palm Springs Valley area. He says that the crime rate there in his town is more than double the national average because there's a lot of drug gangs there. And of course, that's the real root of the problem is the government's war on drugs, creating a prohibition style atmosphere. When was the last time we had people shooting automatic machine guns, Tommy guns, riding the uh, cars through the streets? That was during alcohol prohibition. Now you're starting to see that level of violence start to come up in some of the larger cities where they have prohibited guns. But he says, this is a police chief from California now. He says, it's time for us to issue concealed weapons licenses to law abiding people of this city. I believe this will deter crime and help people feel safer. Absolutely right. Now, this police chief from Detroit, his name is James Craig. He's been in the news before. He was a police officer in California, and he believed that gun control made the city safer. Then he went to Vermont, and he got an education there. And then when he became police chief in Detroit, he brought that with him. He understood that guns in the hands of lawful Peace abiding people makes the city safer. It makes his job easier. And he can focus on catching the criminals instead of just cleaning up the mess when people are attacked and killed. What do you think about that, Anthony? Well, I think there's this grand delusion that so many people are against guns, against legal firearms, and that there's so many, you know, with moms against guns and all of that, there's so many activists, or if you call them activists, who really are against the legal ownership of firearms. But that is a complete and utter lie. We have yes. the statistics we're going to get into on this segment. We have the reality, the video, the showing what the real anti-gun people are like in um, the Alamo protest where we went to, myself and Alex, and you actually there as well. Yeah. We saw the real face of those who wanted to ban firearms. I mean, yeah. they got up in our faces. The guy tried to fight Alex and, and, and threatened him and said, come on, punch me in the face, punch me in the face. Well, you and I were there for a long time walking around even trying to find them. There were literally over a thousand well, gun owners there, there yeah. to talk about open carry. And there was like three or four people there for moms uh, demanding action or whatever. And they were so far away from the, real, uh, the, the rally. They were supposed to be there as a counter rally. They were so far away and so few a number. You and I walked around for a long time trying to find yeah, them. Of course. Then we went back, got in the car and started looking for them again. Finally, we found them and there was essentially nobody there. Well, the New York Times was trying to find them as well, as well as Al Jazeera. <laughs> and then when they did find them, they acted like they had such a strong presence there. Yeah. The local news did report and they reported on what we were doing too, that there was virtually no one there for their protest and all of the people that went out to the open carry march at the Alamo in San Antonio. But I do want to get into... In the, in the next segment, specifically, we can touch on a little bit here, what I call the Hollywood con syndrome mm -hmm. and how at a societal root level, this is literally the explanation, I believe, for what we're seeing with all this insanity. With the South by Southwest scenario promoting gun control, with Facebook coming out yes. and saying that any page that promotes guns in any capacity posts pictures of guns, even if it's a gun store whose livelihood relies on you yeah. know, the, the posting of weapons, legal firearms for citizens of this country. That's how they want to be shut down. That's how they want to win the debate in social media. They didn't talk about that. 
how the one the way they intend on winning the media is by completely shutting down and censoring the other side also by demonizing it and scaring people about guns and gun owners but just take them off of facebook that that kind of helps if you don't have anybody uh, who's pro-gun allowed to say anything or show anything on facebook it kind of helps your social media campaign well, they've doesn't accepted it? their defeat they've accepted that according to gallup only four percent of americans think gun control is an important problem and we'll get into how they actually care about the economy uh, Sixteen percent are completely dissatisfied with government, and it's just this small poll as the number one thing. Sixteen mm -hmm. percent say government needs to go. Yes. But well, I think it's interesting. This moms demand action. It's really moms demand confiscation. They initially started out as the million mom march, and because of lack of participation and nobody showing up, because they don't speak for moms. You know who speaks for moms? Sometimes it's the the moms who are having their car carjacked, the moms who are defending their kids from from a home invasion. What speaks for them is a loaded shotgun and, and, you know, taking care of themselves. But they can't win this debate. And you've got uh, papers like The Guardian where they show the picture at the very top of the article. They've got everybody crowded together with signs. It looks like they've got a large crowd there. But when you go to the bottom of the article, you see this picture that we put up on InfoWars where you see that they've, they don't even have three rows of people. Oh, yeah. They've, they've got just a few people, and that's three gun control groups. So between three gun control groups, they can't even fill up three rows of seats. No, because it, it's all fake. It's all the Hollywood cop yes. syndrome where it's all bloated, and they act like it's real based on fear and emotion. Mm -hmm. but the reality is that no one supports it logically at a statistical level. Now, we're going to play that video coming up where Alex and I are talking to this Moms Demand Action Group, which had like three people there. Uh, a woman, her husband, and their friend, and they were saying, "No, we don't want to ban guns. We don't. We don't want to ban guns. We just want to have active gun control to stop crime." But if you look, we actually have one of their pamphlets. The first thing it says: require background checks for all gun and ammunition purchases. Number two, it says: ban assault weapons and ammunition magazines that hold more than ten rounds. Ban assault weapons. Yeah. So they were saying, "Well, we don't want to ban guns." And we're saying, mm -hmm. "Well, you want to ban assault weapons?" And you notice saying, that they're going after ammunition as well. Oh, and that's been a big, big part of this. One of the quotes that they had in this Guardian article was one of these gun controllers said, you know, the problem in the United States is that there's more guns in the U.S. than there are people. Does he have a problem with the fact that the Department of Homeland Security is buying 10 bullets for every person in the United States? I have a problem with that. I have a problem with them getting anti-personnel bullets like hollow points and that quantity to be used here domestically. I have a big problem with that. I don't have a, a problem with the fact that there's more guns in the United States than there are people. That's not a problem. All the real threats are completely ignored. The government is allowed to have everything. We're not allowed to have anything. And all of this rhetoric and insanity giving them a scene to ban assault weapons, ban everything, it's all based on propaganda and lies with no actual benefit. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. The facts are in. The studies are legion. Sodium fluoride and other toxic members of the fluoride family are devastating the health and cognitive ability of the American people. So why are the social engineers adding it to the water? Simple. Dumb down the host population that the parasitic technocracy is feeding on. We may not have been able to get fluoride out of the water supply yet, but we can help to get it out of our bodies. I am extremely excited to announce the exclusive InfoWars Life Fluoride Shield Formula fusing six of the best documented ingredients from around the world to help the body remove not just toxic fluoride residues from the body, but a whole host of toxic substances. Let's take a stand against the globalist by blocking their poisons with Fluoride Shield. I use Fluoride Shield every day. Secure your Fluoride Shield and other pioneering formulations at InfoWarsLife.com today. Let's start cleansing our bodies now and support the InfoWar at the same time. That's InfoWarsLife.com. My friends, Alex Jones here to tell you about some of the most important information concerning you and your family's health. Radiation levels have more than doubled in the last 60 years in the Northern Hemisphere from all of the nuclear testing and radiological accidents. Radioactive contamination is now in most of the food supply. There's only two ways to avoid this. Move south of the equator or properly protect your thyroid with nascent iodine. Looking to protect my family, I've done deep research. Nascent iodine is the purest, cleanest, absolute best form 
of iodine to protect yourself and your family. It's made right here in the USA, completely non-GMO. I searched out the best quality and now have developed a double strength form of nascent iodine exclusively available at InfoWarsLife.com. Nascent iodine is on record as one of the only safe ways to detox from fluoride poisoning. Survival Shield Nascent Iodine. Secure your super high quality nascent iodine today at InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. 